Yama, I'm Jack, and this is Newsbreak. There's a big court case going on in London at the moment, and it's all about this guy, Julian Assange. Here's Josh with more. It's a name you've probably heard before. Julian Assange. Julian Assange. Julian Assange. But who exactly is Julian Assange? Well, he's an Australian computer programmer, and in 2006, he created a website called WikiLeaks. It was pretty controversial, because the site was used to publish confidential documents and images from governments and high-profile organisations around the world. In 2010, a bunch of confidential US military documents were leaked on the website. They exposed top secret information, including evidence of what some described as war crimes committed by US forces. Mr Assange and his supporters said that the public deserved to know what had happened. But publishing secret info can be a serious crime, and the US government said it had put people's lives at risk. Assange was arrested in the UK on unrelated charges, and ever since then he's been trying to stay out of the US, even hiding out at the Ecuadorian embassy before eventually being sent to a prison in London. This hearing is a last-ditch attempt to fight an order which would force him to go to the US to face charges. And while some say that's fair, Assange has plenty of supporters. I think the majority of Australians would agree that, you know, whether you worship or loathe Julian Assange, the matter has gone on long enough and he should be released and allowed to come home. The chief executive of Woolworths has announced his retirement. Brad Benducci has been in the top job for almost nine years and is set to be replaced by the company's head of e-commerce, Amanda Bardwell. But it's a pretty chaotic time for the supermarket giant. It's been facing allegations of price gouging and treating suppliers unfairly. And Mr Benducci found himself at the centre of a pretty awkward interview just last week. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I think I'm done, guys. Uh... Wait, you're walking out, really? What does your skincare routine look like? Well, experts are worried that more and more young people might be using products that aren't meant for them, thanks to the rise of skinfluencers on social media. Take a look. Meet 13-year-old Grace, who, a few years ago, started to get pretty obsessed with skincare. I just saw some people online and I was interested and wanted to try it out. And she's not the only one. In recent years, there's been a huge rise in young kids, mostly girls, getting into skincare products well before their teens, mainly because of social media. We're Gen Alpha influencers. Of course we are obsessed with skincare. I know I've spent a lot of moisturizers and like skincares, like $90 for like maybe like one thing. But experts say that's a bit of a problem because a lot of these products are actually designed for adults or late teens who have different skin needs and they could even be damaging. If you're getting acne, then that's probably around the time when you can start getting benefits from it. But if you're younger, then there's no real point to it. Um, at best, it's a waste of money. At worst, it could potentially make your skin really sensitive. Once I bought this thing and burned my skin, my face went red and I got all these little bumps all over my face the next day. Dr Wong says there's nothing wrong with wanting to look after your skin, but having a simple routine that's suited to your skin needs is the way to go. One of the things that is really important is sunscreen. All these like acids and things are just damaging my skin, so I try to stick to like more natural skincare now. Now for a segment called... I'm just a baby. Yeah, what the baby said. Starting off the baby parade is this newly born baby elephant at Copenhagen Zoo, and isn't she a cutie? Asian elephant populations have been declining, so... So uh, it's very exciting news for us, and it's, it's very good for the population to see particularly this female calf. What's better than one baby turtle? Seven baby turtles. Researchers at the University of New England were delighted when seven Bell's turtles hatched from six eggs. Yes, you are correct, that maths doesn't add up. That's because two of the babies came from the same egg, which means they are turtle twins. And in anticipation of the upcoming 2024 Paris Olympics, two Parisian friends have built a miniature replica of the Eiffel Tower from recycled wood. The pair are now hoping to display their tower near cities where the Olympic torch will pass during the torch relay. Personally, I think that's relay cool. Yes, we get it. You're just a baby. And I'm just about to finish this show, so we'll see you tomorrow with more. Bye! Bye.